When it comes to the history of aviation, everyone thinks it started with the Wright brothers. But in the real sense of it, as far back as 500 years ago, humans have dreamt of flying through the sky alongside with birds and have been designing and building primitive flying machines in order to achieve this lofty dream. It's your aviator captain Austin and today we'll be discussing about the history of aviation and if you watch to the end you will understand the chronicle of innovative events that have taken place in the aviation industry. It started with Leonardo da Vinci, the famous legendary artist you know, who started by designing the early ancestors of airplane, he designed the parachutes and the early propellers and this was in 1485. Three centuries later was another breakthrough year in the aviation industry and that was the time when balloon became very popular in Europe. This innovation was discovered by the Montgolfier brothers. It was merely used for entertainment purpose. Crowd of people will gather as they watch this balloon fly in the sky for fun. Then years later, much significant advance came at the end of the 19th century when the technology of the glider got well developed. Furthermore, also involved in the flight race was Samuel Pierpoint who attempted several piloted and unpiloted efforts and just few days after giving up his dream, the Wright brothers got it right. On December 17, 1903 to be precise, Ovio and Weber Wright managed the first reputable instance of a sustained flight which traveled for 120 feet in 12 seconds. Within the period of 5 years, with better innovation and design, they extended their flight time to one hour. But shortly thereafter, the experiment resulted in the first air crash which caused a passenger death. But despite this setback, flight technology became very common everywhere and the military saw it as an inevitable tool to achieve military glory. In order to make them viable war tools, they required modifications and further research to make them more efficient. And later on, it was discovered that a machine gun can easily be mounted on them. And warfare became full-fledged reality with the invention of the fighter planes. These military planes became devastating area bombers and they were a decisive factor that determined who will get military victory during the Second World War. By the time the smoke cleared out of Europe after the Second World War, humanity had developed powerful jets with more efficient aerodynamic designs, better radar technology, pressurized cabins for passenger comfort, and aircraft that could travel at high speed to cover intercontinental trips. More so, in the later part of the 20th century, the advent of electronics and computers produced great advances in flight instrumentation systems, and this led to the autopilot technology. With autopilot technology, the aircraft actually fly itself. All the pilot does is just minimal input and it monitors the instrument. Now we are in the 21st century and we have seen large scale of pilotless drones that are used by the military to carry out bombing activities in their designated targets. And they are as accurate as anything you can imagine. Rockets are now sent out to the moon and other planets for research and other innovative purposes. In conclusion, the exponential pace of growth we've experienced in the aviation world can only emphasize the fact that nothing is absolutely impossible in this life. Who knows what will become of this industry in few decades to come? Planes that will transport passengers from China to US in 10 minutes is definitely going to be built. You never say never when it comes to aviation. It's your aviator captain Austin. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell button for notification, share and like. See you next week for another interesting presentation. Bye.